All right, a friend of mine wants me to create an image of uh, Texas for him, and so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use that by attaching to canvas and tracing. So, I'm going to go to canvas, pick my file, and I want to pick a plane to put it on. I'm just going to put it there and say OK. So, the first thing I want to do is set a size to it. And so, I'm going to expand here go into it and calibrate it. And now I can go in, and this is kind of the only time I look at this, and we want from here to here to be 12 inches. So now we've got our outline. Now it's time to start going in and creating our sketch. So sketch there. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw straight lines for things I can. So just do a line and go from there to there there to there and to there and I'm just going to kind of draw down the middle of these these lines here I'm going to adjust And that looks like a nice straight section, so I'm going to do a straight line there. And that's about it. Also, my friend is going to be using a router, so I'm going to cut off these corners. I don't need to go back in here because the machine he's going to be using to do it can't do all that. So now I've got those done. Now I'm going to do some splines. So splines. see just kind of kind of hit them where the change in directions are okay, here a little one there one there we put one here just to kind of help it guide where it's going And then finish that off. And then go in and, and adjust the points as it needs so it fits the curve better. Alright, hold that down here. Grab the handle, give it a little twist. And that looks pretty good. Go back, start again. Small curves, I'm going to kind of come in, grab those, and I guess I want to cut that off. I might even smooth some of this out some more. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to that out and I'm just going to come down here it's a sharp point I'll finish there I'm going to kind of just smooth this out a little bit here don't need such such kind of variation in there even here he's not going to be able to get in there but that's okay I'll leave it for now and then Pull this one back over where it's going to end.
and don't worry about being super exact when you're doing this because you can always go back and make adjustments like we saw earlier. You can always add new points too if we need to. So we'll just kind of get, get in what we need, usually at change directions. And there you go. See just by adjusting these points, I can get it to be a lot closer. And we're tracing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But by just doing some adjustments, we can get it really close. And it's going to give us a lot better of a result than trying to use an automatic converter. So that's going to be a bunch of little small straight line segments usually, which will be even worse. So I'll just pull it out a little bit, get a little more curve to it. And there we go. That's a pretty good outline there. Um, took, what was that, seven minutes, way faster than trying to clean up a badly converted image. So, all right.